What's going on, everybody? Appreciate you coming through. Today, I want to talk about 10 things you might have missed in the NBA 2K18 All-Time Teams trailer. Now, it was a quick trailer, but there were some little details I think you guys might have missed. So let's get right into this. So when the trailer starts, everything looks very clean and polished. The first thing I notice is why is Joachim Noah trying to teach Michael Jordan how to shoot? I think there's one thing we can all agree on. This guy should not be teaching anybody how to shoot. But let's continue. The next thing I notice is that no matter what year the player played in, he will have the same length shorts. Something I was wondering, you know, you got players from the 50s and the 60s playing with players from the 2000s. I was wondering, you know, would they have the short length of the team that they played on or what the different short lengths would be. But judging by this picture, they will all have the same short lengths. Probably a good decision by 2K. Let's continue. Everything looks very nice. Look at the detail they're putting into this. Look at the stretch marks on LeBron. Anyone that knows when they work out, as your muscles expand, sometimes you get those stretch marks. And it's very, I think it's a cool feature that 2K is throwing this into the game this year. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of other little details that we're going to see in, in just a second. Trailer continues. And here's another little detail. Look at the vein on Jordan's head. It just looks so realistic. And I like that 2K's putting that time into this game. Next thing we notice, look at LeBron's body type. And now, look at Grant Hill's body type. It looks like this year might be the first year where they really have player specific body types. And I think that is a very, very big feature for anyone that likes, you know, my team or association or anything like that. It's great when they have those little details because it just gives it that genuine feel. Next thing I noticed that I'm not too happy about, these guys have on 2K generic shoes. Yes, it goes with the team colors, but these are not nobodies in the game. This is Isaiah Thomas and Allen Iverson with 2K shoes on. You tell, you're telling me you couldn't get the right shoe brand, at least, that these guys used to wear? Maybe it's some licensing issues. I don't know. To put 2K shoes on these guys, it's a little disappointing, to be honest. And they're not the only ones with 2K shoes on, too, if you pay attention throughout the trailer. But it goes on, and honestly, everything looks very, very nice. All the player builds look great. The animations, everything looks very polished. Now, this is something I was worried about. Player appearances will be different for each team. You see Chris Bosh here on the Raptors has his dreads, and then when he's on the Heat, I'm assuming he'll have the short hair. But it's good to see that they change the appearance of the player depending on where he was at in that point in his career. I hate seeing, for example, if they had the Chris Bosh with the short hair when he was on the Heat on the Raptors. Yes, it's Chris Bosh, but that's not what he looked like when he was on the Raptors. So I'm glad they made this adjustment. Now look at this. A small, another small detail. I noticed this in 2K17. Why does the referee not have the whistle in his mouth? How the hell is he gonna make a call if the whistle is just hanging on his shirt? Just a small detail. I know it doesn't affect the game at all, but just something that bothers me. Look at the player faces. Much, much improved. Look at Chris. Obviously, Chris Weber was never in the game, but he looks great. But Dwight Howard in past 2K sometimes, well, yeah, he wasn't looking too hot. Some same animations as 2K17. Obviously, they're not going to change everything, but look at this. So anyone that plays my park and has a sharpshooter and has a grand badge knows that, you know, if you shoot a green light three with a sharpshooter, he turns and runs away before the ball even goes in the hoop or he turns and he faces the other direction before it goes in the hoop, whatever, same thing. So now it looks like Allen Iverson's doing, on, doing it on this shot. Obviously, this ball is not in the basket yet. So it's interesting to see what players will have that animation. When will it happen? Could they turn and do a swaggy P where they turn and run and it misses? It'd be interesting to see. But those are 10 things that I noticed in this trailer that I think people might have missed. Just small details, but stuff that I noticed, I might as well share with you guys. I appreciate you guys coming through. If you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe. Can't wait for 2K18. It's been that boy and I'm out.